What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. All right guys, first off, um, I wanna apologize my, about my voice. I've completely almost lost it at this point uh, from all the streaming, being sick, etc. Uh, but I did wanna get this out to you guys as soon as I possibly could, just because I know it does uh, affect everybody and a lot of people had a lot of questions about it. So first off, uh, before we go any further, uh, shout out to Necros API who is running the uh, Solo Leveling Arise community discord um, and also is helping a lot with the whole pity system. Now, when I made the video last week about uh, the message that I got from somebody who said, hey, look, so a mod sent me this. It says that pity doesn't transfer over. Uh, Necros actually was the first one to, to reach out to me and was like, hey, bro, I think that's a fake. Let me reach out to customer service and get a real message for you. So he actually, as a matter of fact, did do that for me. And here is the actual message. Like you guys can see here, it's it's actually from the website from Netmarble, customer service. This is the date. Everything here has been pretty much pretty much put together for us. And then here's the actual message from Netmarble. Okay, so this is hopefully going to put everybody at ease, uh, including myself. So thank you for contacting Solo Leveling Arise customer support. We appreciate your sharing your concern with us and our story for the confusion you had due to this matter. Upon checking with our team, please note that after the uh, rate up period for a specific hunter ends, the final SSR acquisition support rate will be maintained even when the rate up banner for the next hunter begins. So there you guys go. We hope this answers your inquiry. If you have any qu uh, questions or concerns, please let us know. We'll be more than happy to assist you. You may also refer to our official Discord and forum for the latest on the news. Now, <clears throat> I don't know if the other message was a fake or not, or if it was just confusion, but now this is confirming to us, and I believe this one because, like I showed you guys in the last video, I wasn't believing necessarily what happened. I just said, let's see what let's see what happens, right? Because in the game um, chat, you guys can see, or in the game guide, you guys can see that in fact. It does say pity does carry over. So this is just the final confirmation. So again, Necros, thank you so much for putting that together for us and reaching out and letting us know, in fact, that it will be carried over. So there you guys go. I hope it puts a lot of you at ease. Um, I know some of you guys have had some bad experience with Netmarble. And, uh, you know, a lot of people have mentioned Seven Deadly Sins as, as a prime example of that. I hope that this kind of does, you know, lighten the mood a little bit for those folks. And you guys can see that, you know, the, the company is trying its best, obviously, to cater to its customers and its support so i just want to bring that out there again i know there was a lot of concern about it and i think this kind of puts everything kind of into perspective that we should be getting a pity coming up soon also something else i want to share real quick uh shout out to luke for providing this uh to me this is a picture here of uh cha right and then her sword of light there's her sword of light right there you guys can see she's this is level 50 out of 80 and in this picture also you actually get uh back here as well too in hunter form he is a dark unit and he is going to be an attack unit so not a break unit but an attack unit i feel like uh but the only problem i have with this and this is kind of where my concern lies with this whole picture is that if you look here everybody here has attack right if i go back to emma in the game this is a little confusing to me because I don't know if this was something that was done early on in the phase or if this is a fake, uh, but she's got a shield. So <clears throat> I know a lot of this stuff is going around. I just want to make sure that people know that not everything you're going to see is real. So I'm not sure if I go back again to the picture, if this is actually real or not. Because again, Emma looks like she has a sword when we know in fact that both her and uh, Jin Chul here both are actually tanks and same with Kim. So a little bit weird to see this. I'm not sure where this came from. This looks like a dev because look at the, look at the amount of gold this person has as well too. This might have been a dev account maybe early on uh, when they were trying to figure out the whole concept of the character, but it looks like it might not be a real one either. So again, um, including myself, this this is also for me too, guys. Uh, we just got to be more careful with the things we look at and the things we obviously uh, believe. That's why when I made the original pity video. Going through the game guide, I said, yeah, pity does transfer. When I made the second video follow-up, I'm saying there's a little bit of confusion. I That's why I was like, you know what, this is not real. It may be real, it may not be real. Uh, let's just wait to see what happens. And I'm glad I did because now we actually have somebody who followed up. So again, thank you, Necros, and gave us the truth. So for those folks who are a little bit concerned, hopefully this puts you at ease, okay? Um, a couple other things I want to talk about here. Um, <clears throat> there's been a lot of progress here for the Igris, the red fight. Uh, you guys can see I, I, I'm second place again. So shout out to Dark Deed, whoever you are. Uh, you beat me by, by a second. So now I got, oh, not even a second, like less than a couple seconds, like milliseconds. So I'm going to have to come back in here and do this again. Um, so there has been a lot of people who have been giving their opinions on the best way to run this. Uh, so I'm just going to show you guys real quick my run. I will say this. Um, there is a better way to do this, by the way, by not, not necessarily using Westman, but if you use the bow and the Huntsman. But I don't have the... Huntsman leveled up enough, or not leveled up enough, um, 
high enough, I think, personally, to do what some of the folks doing at 50 seconds or so are doing it for. So uh, you can definitely get, it's not cheating, guys. I know a lot of people are like concerned about cheaters. The What I'm referring to is not cheating. Uh, some folks are actually able to do that. And, um, sorry, one sec here. Let me just focus on this. Oh, this is really bad. <clears throat> some people are actually able to do the 50 second thing. It's just that they're just super whales. They're like mega, mega whales. Um, so. You just like I'm a whale, yes, but I'm not like a super duper whale. I'm not like a kraken whale, you know. <laughs> I'm like a regular old whale. Um, but there's there's some people out there killing this, like like destroying this fight. So like we're talking about like 30, no, not 30 seconds, or 50 seconds at least. Um, so for me personally, like my best score has been obviously you guys see it, and I think it's pretty decent. But I can definitely do better. Uh, I just gotta get a perfect run in, and all all matters with West Wind is you get a couple crits, and that'll pretty much solve most of the issues there you guys go that was a little slower two seconds slower but i'm gonna show you guys how this fight works right so if you haven't had a chance to watch it <clears throat> on my live stream which you guys hopefully do join one one day if you have never joined uh you guys will see here how exactly this works okay so let's break him here all the damage see you gotta you gotta crit that <clears throat> if you don't crit it's a problem <clears throat> He's gonna go invincible. So a 49 health, guys. He always goes invincible. So just for your own, for your own knowledge, whenever you see that 49 health pop up, just watch it, okay? There we go. There's a crit. You need those crits. Like you need those crits badly. Because what it does with West Wind is it actually resets the, um, resets the timer by quite a bit. There's another one. There's still one more to go. What do we do? Oh my god, I just... <laughs> couple, like, milliseconds. Literally milliseconds. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that fight, right? Um, so, a couple things to note in the Icarus fight for you guys. Bring two breaks. Try to bring a breaker as well to help you break that quick. Uh, the second thing you want to note, at 49 health bars, he does go invincible. Do not waste any attacks, okay? That's a very important one um, because if you are wasting attacks, that's time you're going to lose as well too. Also, if you do shadow step it, don't go in with your defense break until his invincibility is gone. It takes a couple seconds for that iframe to finish up, and then you can do it. Now, the following that move, he always goes up in the air and does his uh, his crash where he does the three different prongs and then his, his big blast. So watch out for that as well too. Um, and then... The big one here, if you are going to use West Wind, is you want to have as many crits as possible. Your your whole run is going to run off crits because the more crits you do, the more resets you get on the West Wind, right? So um, the whole goal is to just burst as much as you possibly can before time ends while breaking him and getting those specific milestones within the health bars uh, no, n noticed, right? Like, again, 49 health, stop attacking. Just get ready to dodge. Let him do his animation. His invincibility, you're not gonna, you're gonna waste damage if you if you go in for that, okay? So that's a very, very important one. Uh, and then lastly, um, the beginning phase, you guys can bring black hole. It's a pretty good idea. Uh, it does gather everybody into one section so you can snipe them right away. I just don't like it because sometimes it messes up my my direction and my and my speed. So I like to use the scythe better. Now, why the scythe? I'll explain why. Uh, because my A5 scythe gives you 15% flat attack rate. Uh, attack, sorry, um, and gives you 25% crit rate when you have 70% HP or less, right? So um, it works out a lot better for me personally in this fight than it would like the Huntsman or the Bow. And that's how I got my score here. So you guys can see I can obviously beat that score. I just got to tweak things a little bit. But there you guys have it. This is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.